I'm Austin Adamson, and uh, this week I'm going to be playing Submerged. comes out tomorrow on PC and PS4, probably Xbox. So, let's take a look. It's an uh, Unreal Engine 4 game, and as you can see by this menu, it looks real pretty. Well, so let's jump into it. You're, this is another uh, another exploration game, combat-free. Um, let's jump into where I left off. Hopefully, it didn't quick save <laughs> where I was. Uh, I, I, I was sailing to the boundaries of the map just to kind of explore, see if I could see what kind of uh, barriers there were to uh, just sailing or or, or traveling outside the world you know because if you can't try and break a game where's the where's the fun in that maybe i was watching too much of those uh summer games done quick last week and i wanted to try and find a speed run glitch <laughs> so let's uh just uh, I continue to wait for this game to load. Uh, this week is Gamescom, if you're paying attention to the news cycle. So uh, tomorrow morning, get ready for a lot of news to hit. Some new trailers from some upcoming games. All right. Here we are. This is my character. I don't remember her name. But uh, her brother is injured and we are exploring this sunken city searching for supplies to help him recover uh, you can see i've got a, a boost here propeller boost on my uh, ship left corner bottom left corner i've got this telescope which will um, alert me to key locations so if I pop this out and look around at something I think might have supplies uh, it'll mark it on my map which I can pull up here so here's my map uh, I found two supply crates so far uh, there's some secrets I have marked on my map and uh, boat upgrades and that's my home base there the the white circle but that's kind of uh, that's all the interface there is there's also a journal I guess um, and they're kind of these primitive drawings explaining you know what has happened uh, where are this we're a part of this it looks like uh, hunting gathering family that's living above water in a village and uh, one one day on a hunting expedition we fell off the boat maybe I don't know who knows there's 44 of these uh, and there's also ones explaining kind of what happened to the city that we're in and as well as the different creatures of this world so you can see I've seen most of the creatures already uh, but there is no combat so you don't you don't fight uh, the creatures you don't get hurt by them they just kinda exist around you and they're they're pretty interesting looking <laughs> so here here we have those bird pelican like creatures um, and they add a lot to the the sound of the game uh, just kind of exploring you'll you'll hear these yeah what sounded like a steam geyser and it's uh from one of these whale type things surfacing there doesn't appear to be any any sort of fail state or any way you can die you can't sink your boat you can't run out of fuel there's no no sense of urgency so far it's kind of just uh they just put you in this kind of beautifully destroyed city uh, and 
say, you know what, take your time, look for supplies. Your brother's probably not going to die. Uh, so let's see, I think I've already been up there. Let me look at the map and then see if we can... So there are some secrets that I've missed. But I don't want to climb up all that way. Let's see if we can find a new supply crate. There doesn't appear to be a specific order you need to gather the crates in. Um, I think my current objective, I'm looking for something for the for my brother to drink. Yeah, he appears to be thirsty. But I think just any supply crate will have the required component. I'm trying to see if there's anything of interest out here. I mean, these structures are cool. You got a nice big Ferris wheel, mostly submerged. I really like the art design. Uh, like you have these beautiful uh, sunsets and sunrises. I, th I, th I believe there's a dynamic day-night cycle, uh, so we might see the moon rise later. Okay, here we go. Here's an example of finding a key location. And there we go. There's a, a supply crate up there. So let's look at the map. It's pretty far away. Also, I didn't realize that was where I was, but cool. So let's just head that way. So when I was playing it uh, at uh, on my primary console, there was a lot more like frame rate dips, performance issues. Uh, I was having like dropped in the you know sub teen frames per second, uh, which was really distracting and made it kind of frustrating to play. But that could be uh, because it was installed on an external hard drive. Uh, I'm playing on the Xbox One version. And this is, I mean, the game comes out tomorrow, I believe, uh, on all platforms. But it's a pretty much final version of the game unless they have a, a day one patch, which I couldn't get a comment back. I'd send them an email and see if they'll they have any uh, info on that. But here on this console, uh, it's installed on the primary hard drive, the internal, and it seems to be running a lot better. So that would be my my recommendation if you if you do end up picking this game up, and you run into performance issues, try try moving it to a, a different drive. If you're playing on Xbox, PlayStation Four doesn't support external drives yet, so. You only have one option there. So I can't jump off this. You can't you can't fall to your death. You can't you can't do anything that would cause you to lose progress really, so except for going the wrong direction. <laughs> which I may have done. Let's try and find the next climb point. There should be something. There's no jumping. Oh, here we go. These uh, red flowers are are a device used to show the route. Yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of climbing, like serene climbing, uncharted style. It's like if uncharted had no combat. But it definitely reminds me of, of a maybe a setting that could take place in an uncharted game. <laughs> Here's more eight of sixty for the uh, story, the city's story. Oh wait, what else did I unlock? Or something from our story? What was that blinking? There's a lot. There's a lot of collectibles. 
but I guess that is the game. I believe a few of the team members are worked on uh, some of the Bioshock games. I don't know which specifically. I don't have that in front of me right now. It's 20 bucks. Uh, I don't know if there are any pre-order incentives. Like if you, what? I just got one from. Oh, is that a, is that a creature? This is new. This is like a humanoid. This is, let's see if I can. Nope. He just jumped off. Mysterious. See, I'm not sure, you know, if there's going to be anything additional to this game, like if there's any reason to play it a second time. The climbing is simple. I haven't uh, found myself getting lost or stuck or just maybe a 10 seconds here or there while I look for the next part of the path. When I get to the top here, I'm going to try uh, playing with the little postcard. Uh, I think it's called the postcard creator. It's basically a, a camera mode, I think it's Oh, here we go. It is now nighttime. Didn't notice the moon till now. It's rising. You can see it moving there in real time. It's a very long ladder. Lucky for us, our character climbs very rapidly. Hmm, there's a fallen statue. But if I could jump. I could get over that, but let's get the collectible here before I. Okay, so the, the, that's a tree green dude that we saw before, just standing there that jumped off. Let's get the supplies. <coughs> Inside this giant chest was water. <laughs> so I got yeah, f uh, first aid, fire, and then now just just now water. So after every, every every one of these supply crates you crack open, it warps you back to your your brother here, and uh, gives you a new objective. Oh, seems like these creepy zombie creature plant creatures uh, are watching us. They know we're here now. She's got, like, green stuff all over her. Okay, cutscene. I do like these uh, pictograph storytelling devices here. I can't tell if she's becoming greener. Maybe she just needs to wash her hands. Otherwise, she looks like she's going to end up like those plant people. All right. Let's see if we can find one more crate here. And I think that'll uh, be good enough to give, give you guys a sense of what this game is. Let's actually go in the other direction. Oh, I should have taken the postcard. Whoa, there's something back there. Maybe it was just a docking point. Yeah. 
I believe I've already been up there. So let's go north. Which I have not explored much of. Yeah, the frame rate is much better than it was when I was playing a few days ago. And the soundtrack uh, is very peaceful. It pairs well with these uh, kind of awesome views of this destroyed city. Here we go. The net to the sky. Could probably climb that. It looks climbable. Two of eight. Oh, it's a landmark. Mm, right, the first landmark I saw was a, a billboard. Kind of did the same zoom pan let you know it's important. Oh, here we go. What do we got? And just a secret. We can go check that out. Yeah, I really like these kind of like post apoc post poke post apocalyptic like society has begun to where new societies have formed out of the fallen uh, remains of, you know, previous humanity. Cantress steel. Was that another? That looks like I can climb up this splinter cell style. Oh, there's there's something on my my map, a supply chest. What's that? What am I looking at here? Ah, a, a boat upgrade. There's a supply crate. Oh, and there's a supply crate up here too. Perfect. Let's see if I can remember where that secret was before I get all the way to the top. I I wish this game had a little more uh, progression to it. Like, there's no kind of... Oh, there's that creepy plant guy. Uh, there's not much of a... I don't know, a sense of accomplishment other than finding finding more supplies um, I think there's the upgrading of the boat but it would be kind of kind of cool if your character found some tools that maybe assisted in climbing or but I guess that would change the pace of the game and maybe that's not well clearly that's not what the developers had in mind. Maybe it's just because I've played too much Assassin's Creed, but I'd also like to jump off of these uh, tall buildings. Just do a nice dive into the water. All right. Here's a ladder. Let's see if we can. There's a. Is this the one that I had on the map, though, or is this a different one? Is that plant guy down there? And I'm lost again. Yep. Looks like there's some broken ledges I could climb up. It's not always immediately clear where you're supposed to climb, but it hasn't become frustrating since that's kind of the 
bulk of the game. Here we go. And it controls well. You can just hold in a direction. No no jumping, no grabbing. It's all atmosphere. Oh, is there a storm coming in? My visibility has dropped. Yeah, it looks like there was some lightning, maybe. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> I Yeah, here comes the rain. Nope, nope. That's not what I want. I want to climb up this pole. Just like Sam Fisher would. Maybe this is in the same, same universe as... Uh, Rise in New Dawn. Maybe we'll start hunting some robot dinosaurs. Um, okay, go left. Yep. Ah, here is. We're above. Uh, kind of that section from earlier. And there is another secret. So let's grab that before we get the crate. Or not. We got to go up that, down that ladder. Oh good, she goes down ladders very quickly too. storm has passed. I wonder what other kind of weather there is. And before, uh, let's, let's try and find a good view. Looks like the sun's about to come up. Let's get this skyline, palm trees. There's a little bit of moonshine coming here as the moon sets uh, and let's see if we can go to make a postcard so you have this kind of <coughs> expanded camera controls um, zoom camera movement um, so I can just kind of even break out the character here a little bit Movement up, down. Okay, here we go. So I can get. And then take that off. And uh, save that as a screenshot. Doesn't look like there's an in game take picture button, but. You know, Steam has its built-in screenshot mode, and so does PlayStation, so. Well, let's see what we got to eat. Some canned food. So, yeah. Um, that's kind of the loop here. It looks like the story... Uh, might be interesting, a little mysterious with those uh, tree plant mutants. Um, let's see if they're watching me. Yep, here we go. They look disgusting. <laughs> but I guess that's probably what happens when, after thousands of years of uh, being in a sunken city. And it looks like it's actually happening happening rapidly to our character here. 
not to read too much into the green blotchy extremities. Okay. We had a glass thing. We broke it. Someone was angry and tried to kill it. Kill that person. Oh, maybe that was us. Is that, is that my outfit? Okay. Now she notices that she's like green. <laughs> no objective? Oh, some insect repellent. What you need is to scrub the transformation off of your body. So it looks like, yeah, I could go to, go to any supply crate that I find in any order. Uh, no kind of, no gateway uh, to anything like that or or progression gates or anything like that since you don't upgrade to anything other than your ship and I think that uh, I, you know I'm about halfway through it looks like um, of uh, I'm not a halfway maybe like 25% um, yeah that's submerged thanks for watching uh, like I said it's out tomorrow on most platforms so if you if you like it go ahead and you can go pick it up for 20 bucks uh, be sure to follow me on twitch here or I'll put the archive up on my YouTube you can see all my social stuff down down below thanks for watching and uh, have a great week